What's going on guys, Matt Wasik here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to do a quick comparison on Elementor Pro and Thrive Architect. So if you've never heard of them, they are basically two of the top tier front end WordPress website developers. And basically what that means is that when you have a website that has WordPress installed onto it as its content management system, you add these as a plugin rather than going over to like the Envato network or buying a theme from the WordPress marketplace or something of the sort and having that added on. These builders allow you to drag and drop and create custom templates or you can actually use some of the templates that they have built in and that are included with their purchase and add it to your site and you can tweak and and you can pretty much fully customize everything without having to know any code or anything so they are definitely very 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 powerful especially with what we do here on my channel which is building websites for local businesses and also especially for building out a website to rank in the search engines and monetize with either selling the leads directly to a business or doing pay-per-call affiliate marketing where you essentially just drive a phone call it's routed through a network and you get paid a commission for generating qualified leads which then gets sent to a business to facilitate that service for that person these builders make it very 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 effective once you get past the initial learning curve which will take you a few hours of working with in order to really know and understand exactly what's going on but when you build out a page you can save that as a template take that template add it to your next page that you build and you can continually doing and you can continue using that same framework essentially obviously you want different content on the page because you don't want duplicate content on your pages but if you are building a site for a local business or for lead gen paper call affiliate marketing you want your site to be ranking for as many keywords as possible and and in order to rank for as many keywords as you can and you need to create pages with an optimal amount of content in order to be able to rank for those keywords and capture that traffic coming through these builders allow you to create pages very 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 effectively and very quickly notice i didn't say easy at least initially once you get past the learning curve it does get quite easy but then you can start cranking out page after page after page after page and then it allows you to really just churn and burn and crank out page after page like an assembly line to get as many rankings as you can and get as much traffic as you can and real quick i'll show you guys some of the finished product of what you can create with these builders so this website here was the one i had built with elementor pro this is a client's website and we actually just only built the home page and then a couple other operational pages so that way their website was at least functional and we're in talks to start building out more pages and city plus service pages and a whole host of other stuff so it's a very high impact lots of visual aspects and calls to actions buttons and that sort of stuff you can make functions happen like this little zoom which is really cool with elementor the slider is a cool feature. I know Thrive Themes, I remember reading a blog post initially when I actually purchased the software, they are really against sliders because they can slow site speed and that sort of stuff. So take it for what it is. I have not noticed any issues with this site yet as far as site load speed, even with this slider. So it is what it is. And you can of course add just lots and lots of text content as well as icons more just cool backgrounds this is probably one of my favorite features with these types of website builders and i know you can do this with other wordpress themes but they make it very very easy with thrive and elementor to set up a background have it be fixed and have the content be sliding across the top of it another cool feature within elementor is embedding facebook comments and then of course you have your calls to action as well now taking a look at another client site here within thrive architect that this was built on you can see lots and lots of similar you can see a lot of similarities here as far as like calls to action buttons and the fixed backgrounds text and overall you can see that they are pretty similar to one another they're a little bit individual features especially on the back end that i want to cover here that you should definitely be aware of before deciding to purchase one of these softwares so let's get into some of the features that i noticed right away when it came to using these two builders so headers and footers and these are very very important to a website because this is where a lot of information is displayed calls to action contact information that sort of stuff and it's very very important that these are set up and i'm very very picky with how my websites look and how the work i do and how the work that my agency does looks and the overall visual aspect and just the functionality everything i'm just really picky when it comes to that so the first thing that I have to say is with Elementor Pro, it was an absolute bitch to set up the headers and footers. Just a complete royal pain in the ass. I was so pissed off for like three hours trying to set this up. And you can say whatever you want in the comments, but it was an absolute pain in the ass. And I have a lot of time spent using Thrive Architect. I've spent a shit ton of time within Optimize Press as well. And that was probably one of the worst experiences I've ever had with building a website, aside from purchasing a 
theme from some shitty developer on the Envato market. So you build your headers and footers with Elementor in the back end of your WordPress site. And then what happens is that as you set that up, you essentially add it as a condition as a header, and then it will automatically add it to all the pages. So with a lot of testing and just tweaking things and that sort of stuff, and a lot of the drag and drop features I was not a big fan of when it came to Elementor, when you compare it to Thrive Architect, because just the overall ease and simplicity was just not there when you compare it to Thrive. But the big thing that Elementor has over Thrive is the fact that when you create a header or a footer, it, be, it can become a global feature. To my knowledge, I do not believe that that feature can be set up with Thrive Architect. So you go one place to edit it. So let's just say we goofed up something on the link or one of these pages changes or the, the email address or whatever is gonna change. For Thrive Architect, if you have 100 pages, you're gonna to have to go through all 100 of those pages and make that tweak to that link, for example. Or at a minimum, you're going to at least have to go into each one of those pages and either manually change the link or take your header that you have saved as a global template within Thrive Architect and import it onto the page. So it's gonna take you a lot of time. With Elementor, that is actually really quick and effective and you can change it very, very quickly. So they get a win on that after the fact I had to spend three hours swearing to get everything set up to make it look how it does. So one thing that Thrive has on Elementor is creating content boxes. So basically dragging and dropping the features onto the site is a lot, lot easier here on Thrive. So let's just say we want to add a, we have a background section where it's gonna have it be here. Over here, what you wanna be doing is creating a content box and you set up your width very, very simply and easily. So right here, we're just gonna max it out at 1080, which is, looks like it already is set up for that. We're gonna center that. And then what I wanna do is we're gonna add columns because we want it to be two columns. You select it, boom, there we go. With, with Elementor, you have to use like you have to use an inner type of feature and then drag and drop. And it's just, it's a little bit more complex of a situation as opposed to this, where you have the feature of boom, content box. Okay, content box, now from there, we're gonna go columns. And then we, from there, you're gonna go text. And it gives it the feel that it's a little bit less customizable than something within Thrive. So here's one thing that Elementor definitely has on Thrive. When you wanted to add an icon, for me especially, when you add an, when you add an icon, to a button, for example, or even if you're doing it in like a text section, the icons that they have and the way they're set up on Thrive flow a lot better. For example, on this button here, that's a call now button. If we add this phone one here, which we're gonna go to, it doesn't really flow very well as far as the overall visual aspect, in my opinion. Again, I am very, very picky with how my websites look, but you'll see that these phones here are pointed the opposite direction. So let's just change this color quick to black. And well, obviously the colors are set up and optimized for to not have this. So we'll change this to, we'll just change it to green so that way it can be seen. So you notice the phone is pointing to the left when the call and we write from left to the right. Over here on Elementor, you can see the direction is set up optimized from left to right. So, so I know that's something that is rather nitpicky, but it is still something that comes into play. And if you're someone who's really specific with how your websites look, because again, if certain things are not optimized, that can really kill your conversion rate. Now, the next big thing is site-wide tracking scripts. So Thrive Architect blows Elementor out of the water when it comes to this. To my knowledge, if you know of a way to install a site-wide tracking script on Elementor in the back end, leave a comment below. But I was not able to discover this. And this is something that's very, very important to me because I like to know what's going on on my websites and on my clients' sites. And I want to be able to see where people are accessing the site, which is what Google Analytics is what's going, that's going to tell you that. And then also the Facebook tracking pixel is, also, is going to help you with determining how many people come to the site and track how many click to call, click to email, or visit the landing page that you have set up for after someone sends their information through the contact form. And you can track your leads and you can retarget the people on social media, Facebook, Instagram, that went to the site without doing one of those actions. What I like to be able to do is install the pixel one time and have it be site-wide, have it be just a page view. Thrive Architect makes that very, very easy in the back end. And then when you want to add the event pixel, for example, let's say someone submits some information to the contact form, they land on a thanks, we'll be in touch or thank you page, whatever. And you have that set up for a custom event. 
they make it very, very easy to install that event tracking pixel. When it comes to Elementor, you have to add that pixel manually to every single page. And if you have a 50 page website, now if you're building a brand new site and you make sure that you add that pixel every single time, that really won't be too much labor involved into doing that. But if let's say you took on a new client and they wanted to have that Facebook pixel installed to track what's going on, you have to add that manually to every page. You have a hundred pages, that's a shit ton of time you have to spend doing that. So now it comes down to which one is better. I know there are a lot more features, a lot more pros and cons to weigh up, but if I were to do that, this video would be two hours long. I frankly don't have the time to do that, I'm sorry. But you're gonna have to weigh out which is best for you. And these are some of the top features that applied to me with my business. So this is the decision that I am making. So I'm really focused on optimizing and maximizing conversions. So the ease of Thrive Architect of being able to globally install a tracking pixel and being able to see what website visitors are doing because that's really what it comes down to. What are those website visitors doing? They're the ones that make the money, whether it is a website you built for a client, you're ranking it with SEO, that person sending their information or getting in contact with the business, that means that if they're doing that, then it means you did your job. And if you're doing this for lead gen or paper call affiliate marketing, if you're getting phone calls and leads coming through, then that means you obviously did your job right too because you're earning revenue from commissions or leads you're selling directly to a business. So the overall ease with Thrive Architect when it came to creating content boxes and the, and the global tracking script is what leads me to really prefer Thrive Architect. And this is a little bit on the anecdotal side, but Elementor never like accepted me into their Facebook group, which is really annoying because I had a lot of questions I wanted to ask. And their overall support absolutely sucked compared to Thrive Architect. And customer support is very, very important when you're using software. So the one advantage though that Elementor definitely had was that headers and footers. But if you set up your headers and footers right the first time, you won't have to worry about that. Just make sure everything is optimized before you start going crazy building page after page after page. And even if that does happen, they do make it very easy where you can save a header and footer as a template and then drag and drop that new header or footer onto your other page that you had to edit and then you just save it and you go on your way. So my vote goes to Thrive Architect. In my opinion, it's a lot more beginner friendly as far as the overall customizability of the site and being able to create pages quickly and efficiently and effectively and set them up in a manner that they will convert. So if you're someone who's a beginner watching, which I know a lot of people who watch my channel are, this will be the better choice for you as far as getting things set up, getting your sites indexed and ranking, getting traffic, and then also retargeting that traffic with being able to set up proper tracking scripts. So that's my decision. And if you're some Elementor fanboy and you wanna leave some hateful comment down below, I will gladly argue with you to the death over why Thrive Architect is better. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. If you are interested in learning more about building websites, ranking them with search engines, and monetizing them with pay per call affiliate or lead gen offers, there is a link down below to my course. And if you wanna get access to the nine most profitable pay per call lead gen niches, there's a link right down below as well. And if you like this type of content, like doing these comparison videos, let me know by smashing that like button down below. And also, if you're not already a part of the family, go down below, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications so that way you know when the newest content's live here on the channel. So, with that said, I will see you guys in the the next video.